Hi guys, this is Pradeep. So today we will take another uh, scenario. This was uh, asked in one of the interview. This question is related to although MM, but uh, can be applied on finance or it, because it was asked to the finance person. So let's take this question. Suppose we are going to create one purchase order and in that purchase order, there is only one material we are going to purchase. So PO has one line item when we are going to process the G GR, that time we realize uh, we need to add some more material or you just imagine uh, we are processing one goods receipt, some item we are going to add, let's say vendor supplied that material but it was not added in your purchase order. So initially at the time of purchase order creation, the second material was not added but at the time of processing the GR, we are going to add it. So whether it is possible or not possible. So sometimes maybe some additional expense we are going to add which is not there in the purchase, maybe freight cost or some additional expenditure which was not there in the purchase order but at the time of processing GR we are going to add related to that material. So first question whether it is possible or not possible. If something is not there in the purchase order can we accept or can we add that at the time of MIGO or at the time of GR. If yes then how you are going to handle that particular uh, invoice. So that means at the time of processing Miro, how we are going to handle that both the line items. Means something is not there PO and you are going to process the invoice with reference to purchase order but second item is not there in PO. So how you are going to handle this one. So let's practically check this one whether it is going to work or not, it is possible or not so that you will get better idea. So now I'm in uh, SAP screen so I'm going to take let's say randomly I'm going to pick this material. So this by using this material I'm going to purchase uh, I'm going to create one purchase order then at the time of processing GR I will add one second material. So I'm going to create one purchase order, transaction code ME21, select the vendor. So whatever the company code is coming so I'm going to use that one. Uh, and of course for that your normal logistic configuration should be there, FIMM integration configuration should be there. So those things will be there as usual. So I will maintain the header details, purchase organization, so I think it is yeah this one then purchase group then company code so i will add one material as for my example so material number i am going to take 153 153 material i am going to add in the uh, po so let's say 100 units i am going to add delivery date let's take today's date Price whatever it is coming so same I am going to add, other details general group I am going to add, plant, enter. Supplier wrong, supplier selected, let me correct it. I mean this supplier is not linked with this purchase organization so I need to change it. Now accepted, so everything is fine, material, all this information is uh, now readily available, I got it. Now save this purchase order, order created, let's note this purchase order somewhere, okay. So this is my purchase order and now I am going to process, I am going to convert this purchase order into GR, Miko goods received with reference to purchase order, same purchase order I selected here. No, it's not correctly selected maybe, 9-7. Okay, now here is the important point. But in this right now it is only taking one line item because that is there in my purchase order. Now I am going to add one more line item. Uh, means one material I am going to add here which is not there in the purchase order. Let me pick here the item, let's take the first one 152 which is not there in my purchase order but I am going to add uh, that one 152 material number. Okay, so I will just add one more line here material number 152 quantity take something let's say 30 quantities other details, okay so here I am going to process and we will check whether it is going to throw any error or not. 
because the second line I added here, this packing material was there in the purchase order and the second line raw material line item 2 I added here. So let's process it. Check. No error. Let's post. No error. It's accepted. So at the time of processing the MIGO, there is no error. Now let me check whether accounting document generated for this or, or not. So I will check FBL3N. I can check it from uh, current document, but I will check here date wise. Okay, so raw material manually I added that one. So it is available. This item is added. Packing material was there in the purchase order. So this one is 100 units if you recall, 100 units per unit, two, in, two rupees. So 200, this one is perfectly there. And this one is added here. So accounting document as it is there and automatically it is added with your GRR account. So that means first question, answer to the first question, whether can we, uh, if something is not there in the purchase order, can we add or not? So it is possible. So you can see this accounting entry. So packing material result of your integration and raw material which I added manually, that is also accepted. Again, that is result of your FIMM integration. Accordingly, you need to configure it, but it is possible. Business process point of view, it is possible. Now, let me try with invoice, whether invoice is working or not, because Migo is working. Now, let me try with Miro. Now, in here, some tricky point is there, right? So I'm going to process the purchase order uh, as reference I'm going to take and uh, with reference to that PO, I'm going to process the invoice. So let's add the tax part and PO reference I'm going to take. And in PO, only one line item was there. Second one I added in GR. Adopt. Now you can see here uh, 210, the payable item, including tax, it's showing 210. How we got this 210? 200 is your uh, material. 200 material and a 5% tax uh, that is 210. So that means the second material it is not accepted in this particular purchase order. This item is not sorry packing material is there. This item is not there. This one is 247 it is not there. So this one you have to process as non PO. So right now I'm processing one vendor invoice with reference to purchase order. So in this case, whatever the item it was there in the purchase order, only that item it is accepting. The second one, you have to process one non PO invoice, right at the time of Miro. So let's, let me complete this one. And then after that, I will process the non PO invoice. So I'm processing this invoice with reference to PO. And in that PO, only one material was there, material number 152. Okay, then other details. So 210 is your credit entry that is payable, business place. Baseline date, let's take today's date. And post. Okay, so if I will check Vendor invoice, so you will find bill one n you will find one item 210 added that is related to material number P2. So how we got this invoice? This invoice with reference to that purchase order, right? So here if you'll see the process, this particular invoice generated with reference to that purchase order. This is our purchase order, and in that purchase order, only one item was there. Second item not included in your invoice. So it's only one item, material number 153. But your uh, payable is not still correct because right now let me refresh it. Still you have uh, this particular GRR account is not balanced. It's showing still credit balance because the second item which we have included during our GR, that one is not at billed or that, that one is not at invoiced. So that's why that we need to add. So I'm going to process one non pure invoice, which is nothing but your FB60. So I'm going to process one FB60. So I will take here material number. select the vendor. So I will select this vendor, then date. And I have to select manually one debit account. It's because this time we are not taking the reference as purchase order. So if each and every item I have to include manually. Last time when I process the purchase order with reference to purchase order, I process invoice because of my pricing procedure or schema settings, maximum information I got there. I got the base amount, I got the uh, tax amount, the tax code, everything automatically I got here. But each and everything here I have to add manually. And what will be your debit account? 
In this case, I will add the GRR account as my debit account, but uh, you may include expenditure, agent commission, freight, those also you can include. And those things, if, if you have added in your uh, GR any item, so that expense account also you can debit. So I will take here 2008 account because I have a deb uh, credit balance in this GRR account. 247.20 so I am going to debit that so that payable item or vendor is going to credit so 247.20 and uh, your vendor amount is 247.20 okay if you want to add tax amount you can add it so let's process it without tax I am going to process so I am going to process the vendor invoice and invoice post it okay so I got my second invoice so both invoice included this 210 this item was there in the purchase order. The second item manually I have added. So back to your questions. Initially, the question was, is it possible? That means if something is not there in PO, can we add in GR? Yes, absolutely possible. You can add any second material or you can add multiple materials. You can add any expenditure. So that is possible. And when you are going to process the invoice, so whatever it was there in the purchase order with reference to that, you are going to create one invoice so invoice with reference to purchase order will be there and second one or other items if you have included anything it may be material it may be expense that you are going to process as non pure invoice so it is related to mm question but this question was asked in uh, finance interview so accordingly you can prepare and of course for that you have to configure your fimm integration accordingly so any questions if you have any any scenario feel free to share me, I will prepare one video. Thank you.